Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match reaction. Everton 2, Bournemouth 3. I don't know what I've just witnessed at Goodison Park today. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what to say other than Everton were having the easiest 85 minutes they've had in a number of years until the manager decided to press the self-destruct button <laughs> and it all went wrong. Uh, what, a, what a crazy way to lose a football match where... Everton should have been 7 or 8 nil up at the time Bournemouth scored a goal and then fair play to Bournemouth. They went for it and got their just rewards by showing being brave and attacking can get you. Uh, the manager went with Jordan Pickford in goal. Seamus Coleman began at right back. Michael Keane, Tarkovsky in the middle. Michalenko left back. Midfield, Irabunum, Jessica Gay. And he had Dwight McNeil in the 10, Illiman and Dye on the left, Jack Harrison right and Dominic Calvert-Lewin up front. And Everton started the game quite well on the front foot. I thought press well, got a good bit of attacking energy going. It was in Jai really, was the chief attacker for us, getting the ball out to him. He started the opening 15 minutes, we were getting the ball out to him and he was running at Bournemouth and they were terrified of him all afternoon till the manager took him off. And he really got us on the front foot and we put Bournemouth under pressure. Again, it was just the final, the final pass, the final ball. Some lovely little football inside the box. Michalenko cutting it back, but the defender got there ahead of Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Couple of ones fizzed right across the box. We got a corner that was headed down to Njai and if he'd hit it anywhere other than straight, he'd have scored, but it went straight at Kepper in goal. Bournemouth, for their part, offered very little. Certainly in the first half, there was nothing, nothing for them. To, they didn't even look any kind of threat in the first 45 minutes. The only time he got sort of round our box, we got a block in. Irabunum was sensational again, I thought. It's particularly in for the first hour, he was absolutely brilliant. And in that first half, him and the Trishagana guy, he was everywhere. Just shut Bournemouth down. And Everton's only, if you're being ultra critical, it was that final pass. That we got ourselves some nice football, good attack and play, front foot football at Goldsmith, which hasn't been the case a lot of the time under Sean Dykes, but it was today. Really got at them. And, and I think that's the way Everton have to play at Goodison. They have to get on the front foot and drive at teams. Uh, and GI changed our attack and outlet. It, it, it's got to be said. And that's what we have to do. And hopefully as we get more bodies back, we can do that more. But, you know, if, like I said, if it was being critical, it was we didn't create any real clear-cut chances for Dominic Calvert-Lewin in the first 45. Jack Harrison... Worked hard, got himself in good positions, but then had to turn back and momentum was gone. And, you know, that that's probably one of the... Crit he, he worked really hard, Harrison, today. I actually thought he did okay. He worked his socks off, but he's going to have to start making sure he's chopping the ball in with his right foot then. You know, if he's going to go on the outside, use that little bit of, you know, acceleration that he gets himself the half a yard. He's got to get that ball in towards Calvert-Lewin. But Everton were in total control. You know, come to half-time, they were the better side. They should have been in front. Came out for the second half. Got back on the front foot again. And, you know, it was easy. Bournemouth, we know that they're a, they proved they're a good side last season when they get going. They look like they're going to miss Dominic Solanke, in my opinion through the middle. But Everton just didn't let them sell. We were we were all over them and they were struggling. We were getting more and more into it in the second half. You know, had, and Jai done really well and goalkeepers made a comfortable save in the end. But we did get the breakthrough. We got a free kick. It was bent in by McNeil. It broke up in the air. Calvert Loon went for it, knocked it down. And you wouldn't want anyone other than Michael Keane in that position, in the opposition box to strike it and he drove it beyond Kepa to give us the lead and it was exactly what Everton deserved. The confidence started coming. We were playing some lovely football. We could have added to it. Bournemouth just getting important blocks and Seamus Coleman rolled back the years, went on a brilliant run, got himself in front of the goalkeeper, all the cor you know, either corner to knock it in for 2-0, hit it straight at Kepa, he pushed it over. He was devastated, you could see, but we did get the second goal. Really good play. Over on the right hand side or on the left hand side as Everton were attacking Bournemouth's right by Irabunum. 
strong play, got it to him and Jai, and Jai squeezed it through the legs, Dwight McNeil, nice little ball, and Dominic Calvert-Lewin dinked it over, uh, Kepper as he came out to give Evan a two-goal lead, and it was game over, so comfortable, so easy, we could have added more, we got into a, <clears throat> we sort of got into a position where we were creating chances or having shots, I'm missing them and everyone was like, oh, well, you know, this is great. Lovely sunny afternoon. Bournemouth looked like they just wanted the game to be done and get off. You know, Tarkovsky misses a, a header off a corner at the far post that he should have done better with, headed it wide. And there is the, there's always the fear, but there was a there was a key moment in it, in that second half, and Iriola made five changes in quick succession, really. Changed half of Bournemouth's team. It gave them a freshness. But Everton was still in command. It wasn't like they come on and change the game. But what happened was it gave them that little bit of energy. But at that time, Everton, the energy in the Everton side started to sap. Particularly Tim Irabuna, who had been absolutely outstanding all day. Around the 75th minute, he looked drained. Seamus Coleman looked knackered. You know, come back, played an hour or so the other night against Doncaster. He was looking tired. And they were the changes that the manager, in my opinion, should have been making. It should have been Irabun off, Coleman off, because we were in command of it. But Bournemouth had obviously freshened half their team off. It was a warm day. And he didn't. He took off Illiman and Jai, which was a crazy decision, in my opinion. That was a mad one. Bournemouth did get back into the game just before a ball right across the goal. And Semenyo tucked it in at the far post. No pressure on the cross. Michalenko had no clue the man he was marking was behind him and the lad's got a tap in two or three yards out and the edginess comes in then. I've since seen the manager's comments after the game, heard them coming home. It's a, them, them comments, I'm sorry, I don't care if you are his biggest fan. That comment is a joke. You know, I could smell it in the air once it went through one. That something wasn't right. Your job to change it, mate. We knew in the ground a lot of us in the ground sort of went, oh, oh we could be in trouble here because this was so easy. The period building up to that goal, Seamus gave it away a couple of times. Iribunum, like I said, he'd, he'd ran the game, basically, and his someone just be, looked like they put a pin in the balloon. His energy levels dropped. He was giving sloppy passes away, which he hadn't been doing. It was the manager's job then to get James Garner on to sit alongside the Dishik Garner and keep control but he, he ends up taking and Jai off, who they were absolutely petrified of. He roasted them all afternoon, and it looked like we were going to add to the goals. He took him off. He looked surprised. He put Dwight McNeil out, who was done. He should have been taken off. He put him out on the left. He looked knackered as well. And he dropped the core in, and we were all over the place. Then he took Dominic Calvert-Lewin off and put Beto on, and it just totally flummoxed us. We did have... An opportunity to make it 3-1. Harrison did really well. Squeezed it through to the core. Right? And if he just picks his head up, he can walk towards their goal with the ball and either shoot himself or square it for a tapping for Beto. And he just puts it across first time without even looking. And OK, Beto maybe should have expected it, but it was ahead of him. The ball then gets fired back across and Beto doesn't react. But if the core would have took a little bit of care with the ball there, we could have killed the game dead. And we didn't. Bournemouth, fair play, like I said before, fair play to them. They smelt blood in the water and went for it. You know, equalised a really poor goal from our perspective. Dinked up to the back post, 2-2, two -two, there's the other. Then Jordan Pickford makes three saves. And that should be Everton's warning sign. The manager should be reacting. We need to do something, we're going to lose the game. Doesn't react at all. And then Bournemouth go and get the winner. And we've lost the game. That was, frankly... There was zero chance of Everton losing those points after 86 minutes. Like, zero chance. And we've lost it. Yes, the team should have reacted better to going behind. Tarkovsky, Coleman were on the pitch. That Pickford, they should have grabbed everyone together and said, we do not concede. But the manager's substitutions were horrific. And has cost us the game, in my opinion. Totally changed. I've just been sent the attack and momentum. When the substitutions are made, Bournemouth... Just have all the ball in. All the attack and momentum's with Bournemouth. The subs were really, really poor. And it's cost us the game. Um, and I don't know what else to say. Because if, if we'd have hung on 
I would have been saying they've done well today. It shows you when you pick a team that with a player in who runs towards the opposition goal that you you know you can beat teams. Bournemouth look I was, for most of that game I was thinking these could be in a bit of trouble this season. They don't look very good. They're all over the place. They've won the game, so what does that mean for us? Really worrying now. Three defeats on the run. Ten goals conceded from a supposedly defensive team. Um, that is terrifying. Villa away next. Lots of thought. Food for thought there. Man of the match. It would have been Iribunum again. But it's Illiman and Jai I'm going for. Iribunum is excellent. Illiman and Jai was um, was Everton's bright spark today. Everything good we did come through him. And we lost this game when he was taken off unnecessarily in my opinion there you go let me know what you think in the comments section below hit the like button subscribe if you haven't see you all later